action heads to the Windy City. Chicago Land Speedway, located at 500 Speedway Boulevard, Joliet, Illinois. 604-33. Capacity 75,000. Surface is asphalt. Length 1.5 miles. And uh, number of turns is 4. Banking's at the corners. 18 degrees. Front stretch is 11 degrees. And the back stretch is 15 degrees. And all three racing, seri- racing uh, series are racing this weekend. So now, ladies and gentlemen, the Racing Podcast proudly presents the Racing Schedule. So Friday evening is the next scheduled NASCAR Camping World Truck Series event, Friday, September 18th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Fox Sports 1 and MRN. It's the American Ethanol E15 uh, 225 with 150 laps scheduled. Then Saturday evening is the next scheduled NASCAR Xfinity Series event, uh, Saturday, September 19th at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time on NBCSN and MRN. It's the Furious 7 300, and that's with 200 laps scheduled. Then on Sunday is the next scheduled NASCAR Sprint Cup event. Sunday, all right, September the 20th at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern, NBCSN and MRN. Week 1 of the Challenge Round, week 1 of the Chase, and it's the MyAFIBRisk.com 400, and that is with 200 and 67 laps scheduled. All right, so this is the Racing Podcast, and up next, the Driver Standing segment. All right, welcome back, everybody. Now for the driver standing segment, and here is the NASCAR Spring Cup Series driver standings. Top sixteen as follows. Normally we start with the top ten, but the top sixteen are in the chase. So here we go. First place, Jimmy Johnson in the 48 car with 2,012 points. Second place is Kyle Busch in the 18 car with 2,012 points. And then Matt Kenseth in the 20 car with 2,012 points. Joey Logano in fourth place, the 22 car, 2,009 points. Okay. And then uh, fifth through uh, ninth place all have 2,006 points. And that's fifth place is uh, Kevin Harvick, the number four car. Sixth place, Dale Earnhardt Jr., the 88 car. Seventh place, Kurt Busch, the 41 car. Eighth place, Carl Edwards in the 19 car. And then Brad Keselowski, uh, and, right. and then Brad Keselowski, he's the number two car. Uh, with uh, 2,003 points. Uh, Matt Martin Truex Jr., uh, Kaslowski in 9th place, then Truex Jr. in 10th place, he's also with 2,003 points. Um, and Denny Hamlin in 11th place, and then the number 11 car, and he also has 2,003. Now, 12th through uh, 16th place all have 2,000 points, okay? So, 12th place, Jay McMurray, the number one car. 13th place is Jeff Gordon, the 24 car. Uh, 14th place is Ryan Newman, the 31 car. 15th place, Paul Menard, the 27 car. And then uh, 16th place is Clint Boyer in the number 15. And then from 17th to 25th place are the drivers that are not in the, the chase. 17th is Eric Amarola, 18th is Casey Kane, 9th place Kyle Larson, 20th place Greg Bevel, uh, Amarola with 693, uh, Casey Kane 677, Kyle Larson 618, Greg Bevel 611. And then 21st to 25th, you have Austin Dillon, AJ Allmendinger sitting in 22nd, 23rd Casey Mears, 24th Danica Patrick, David Reagan in 25th place. Austin Dillon, 603 points. Uh, Alan Denga, 556. Casey Mears, 554. Danica Patrick, 552. And David Reagan, 522. 
Spread Cup Series uh, manufacturer standings as follows. First place is Chevrolet with 1,145 points. Second place, Toyota, 1,091 points. And Ford in third place with 1,081 NASCAR Xfinity Series now, driver standings, top 10 as follows. First place, Chris Boucher, the 60 car, 908 points. Second place is Chase Elliott, the number 9 car, 887 points. Third place, Ty Dillon, the number 3 car, 881. Fourth place, Reagan Smith, the number 7 car, 859 points. Fifth place is Elliott Sadler, the number 1 car, 803. Uh, sixth place is Brian Scott, number 2 car, 797. Dow Wallace Jr. in 7th place, the number 6 car, 796 points. 8th place, Daniel Suarez in the 18 car, 791 points. Ninth place, Brendan Gullen, the 62 car, with 764. And then 10th place is Ryan Reed, the 16 car, 683 points. Uh, 11th through 15th place in order, Jeremy Clements, J.J. Ely, Ross Chastain, Dakota Armstrong, and Ryan Sage. 16th through 20th place in order. David Starr, Blake Koch, Landon Castle, Cale Conley, and Eric McClure. And then 21st to 25th place, Joey Gase, Brendan Poole, Ryan Blaney, Harrison Rhodes, and Peyton Sellers. Manufacturer standings for Xfinity Series. Ford in first place with 1,088 points. Chevrolet, uh, second place, 1,087. Third place is Toyota with 1,067. And Dodge is in fourth place, 295. NASCAR Capital World Truck Series driver standings. Let's do it one more time. Uh, top 10 as follows. Eric Jones in uh, first place, the number 4 truck, 590 points. Matt Crafton, second place, the 88 truck, 587 points. Third place is Tyler Reddick in the 19 truck, 575 points. Fourth place, Johnny Sauda, the 98 truck, 535. Fifth place, Daniel Hamrick in the 14 truck, 500 points. Sixth place, Cameron Haley, the 13 truck, 489 points. Seventh place, Timothy Peters, the 17 truck, 470. John West Townley in eighth place in the 05 truck, 466. Spencer Gallagher, the number nine, in ninth place in the uh, 23 truck, 452 points. And Ben Kennedy in tenth place, the 11 truck, 451 points. 11th to 15th place in order. Ray Black Jr., Tyler Young, Corbin Forrester, Jennifer Joe Cobb, John Hunter, Nemechek. 16th to 20th, in order, Mason Mingus, Brendan Jones, Travis Cavapol, Norm Benning, and Justin Boston. And then 21st through 25th, in order, Jordan Anderson, Cole Custer, Matt Tift, Ryan Ellis, and Austin Theriot. Manufacturer standings for Camping World Truck Series as follows. First place is Toyota with 685 points. Second place is Ford, 626. Chevrolet in third place with 623. And Ram is in fourth with 26. All right. So, quick break. And then we'll go over the final stretch segment. Repeat the schedule for you one more time. Uh, this is RP. Alright, so, uh, Jimmy Johnson, yeah? okay, has, uh, gotten a contract extension from Hendrix Motorsports, uh, an announcement came out on Monday. Jimmy Johnson, the 48 contract is good through 2017. A statement on Hendrix Motorsports official website, uh, okay. Uh, with the new contra uh, contract, Lowe's will remain Jimmy Johnson's primary sponsor. Lowe's has sponsored Jimmy Johnson since his Sprint Cup Series debut back in 2002. Jimmy Johnson has six championships and has raced 74 races in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Source, Bleacher Report. And then there was an issue uh, on the restart on Saturday's race. Uh, Joe Lugano restarts alongside Matt Kenseth on the front 
uh, front row as Kansas started pulling away. Uh, now, I'm guessing that he started pulling away before it was officially green. Uh, well, it was green, but see, the issue is is that um, you're not in green flag race until you cross the line. So even though the flag's out, you actually have to cross the line, and then you're in green flag, green flag racing. Uh, and apparently there was an issue with that, but Steve O'Donnell, NASCAR, because you can't really just start taking off until you actually cross the line. Then you can start taking off. Uh, Steve O'Donnell, NASCAR Executive Vice President, says on uh, the morning drive on Sirius XM uh, NASCAR Radio after being exed about uh, restarts. He says, quote, I think for now we're still content. It is a ball and strike call. We've got the ability to go back and look at video, which we do. And in this case, we made the call and moved on from it. It's still one that we want to leave in the driver's hands. Well, Dale Jr. voices his saying, uh, pointed out that NASCAR should do a better job in policing the restarts. So as Bleacher Report, NBC Sports. All right, um, now, what I just found out a couple minutes ago, Danica Patrick has a new sponsor, so I got to get some scoop for you on that. And um, what else? Oh, next week, um, uh, the folks at NBC put a, a list of all the drivers and how many penalties they got. <laughs> uh, what is uh, driving penalties, non-driving penalties, and then uh, penalties with the driver and the crew. Uh, so we'll go over that next time. Okay. So, now, I, I put together the official, uh, I got it right here, the official RP Racing Podcast Chase Grid, and uh, it's beautiful. It's on a genuine piece of cardboard, <laughs> and uh, I tried to put a picture of, uh, on Facebook, but they come out too good, so I got to figure out something, man, because I, uh, I want to show it off a little bit, you know. So, okay, for those new to NASCAR, all right, basically, so we, we're going we're to start out now. This is the Challenger round, okay? Three races, and at the end of three races, four drivers get dropped out, and then we'll then 12 will advance to the contender round. Now, you automatically advance if you get a win. So, the same way everybody got into the challenger round, automatically with win, and then everybody else with points, is the same way everybody gets into the contender round. And then, uh, three more races in the contender round. And then, after out of the 12, eight advance to the eliminator round. Three more races there. And then, uh, after that, four will advance to the championship round, and then you'll have four drivers eligible for the chase. So uh, this weekend there at Chicagoland, as we just mentioned, next weekend uh, they head to New Hampshire, and then October 4th, which is a October 4th, let me get the old calendar out here for you, uh, which is a Sunday, uh, they're at Dover. And then the first race of the uh, contender round, they're actually at Charlotte. And that is a Saturday night race. And then it's uh, Kansas and then Talladega. And then the, the uh, Eliminator round starts at Martinsville, Texas, and then Phoenix. And then, of course, the championship round, which is the one final race at uh, Homestead. So very good. So... Uh, I'm, I'm proud of my little... I love my little chase grid right here. I'm going to try to take another picture of it and get it up on Facebook. <laughs> right. Don't laugh, though. It's really made on cardboard. <laughs> right, there you go. I got fancy with it. All right, so... Let's do it one more time. Go over this week's schedule. And uh, we're out of here. So, probably next year, or we might... Uh, I think uh, the idea is to do a replay on Friday. Uh, so we'll do live broadcast recording on Thursday. Although we might do it before then, we might experiment it uh, uh, in the last couple of weeks. It's not official yet, but uh, the idea is um, to uh, so we'll do the live broadcast recording on Thursday, as we always do, and then do a replay on Friday. Uh, I think we'll be good uh, unless there is it's it's a week where we're doing the live broadcast on Friday. Uh, but um, I think that might be a good idea. 
And uh, I got a lot of ideas floating around in the brain. Just I'm waiting for them to materialize. Uh, so I just let you know about that.